Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy today's video, which is a DIY fake nails. We're gonna take our nails from this to this. Following super simple steps, super easy, beginner friendly. If you guys have never done your nails, these are going to be the easiest nails you've ever seen. These are press-ons and I love them. So let's jump right into the video. So as you can see, my nails look very uh, basic, I should call them. <laughs> and I do love my natural nail shave, but of course I feel fierce with long nails. So we're first going to need nail glue. This is my favorite one, the Wonder Bond from Sally's. I haven't tried any other brand, but I really enjoy this one. You're also going to need an acrylic nail clipper to clip the nails if you want them a little bit shorter. You're also going to need a nail polish of your color. I have here the Sally Hansen Mega Strength and also a top coat, optional. And then of course you're going to need a nail file, some sort of a nail buffer, as well as a cuticle pusher. Everything that I buy, I buy it from my local Sally's store. And of course you're going to need nails. Now as you can see, mine have been pretty much like organized and I like to put the name of the lashes or the lash, oh my god I keep saying lashes of the nails so like my pinky my middle my ring finger and it's so much easier for me to just grab them put them on and then go on about my day so I will have these nails listed down below I absolutely love the shape of these nails I will show you in the next clips coming up how beautiful of a shape these are and these are crazy affordable as you can see what I'm first doing is pushing back my cuticle this is going to help so the nails can last a little bit longer don't be too rough because your cuticles are super super sensitive so <clears throat> make sure that you are gentle with your cuticles push them back you can apply a little bit of oil before make sure that you remove it so you don't have any oil dirt or debris on your actual nails because that will make it a little bit harder for you to do the press-ons next we're going to move on and buff the nails again you don't want to be too harsh with your nails because we are already doing damage by applying acrylics um, my nails are actually not bad and I've been doing my nails for almost a year like this whole DIY thing so yeah this is just going to again help remove any excess oil or if you have any like hang nails or anything like that the buffer is just pretty much going to buff your nails and prepare them for the next application which will be glue etc make sure that you wash your hands after this i'm going to start with my pinky nails now these are all numbered by sizes i guess and as you can see this is the shape that i'm talking about i love this shape they're so pretty i've never seen any nails like these so i'm going to take my glue and literally just apply it on my nail i'm going to grab the nail that best fits my nail press it on and then i hold it for about maybe a good 15 seconds i just want to make sure that this lasts a long time which is the reason why i like to hold down the nail give it a little bit of pressure so it can really 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 adhere and again you just want to do the same steps i personally like to go in order so pinky pinky ring finger etc it just makes it easier for me and again this is such a beginners friendly tutorial i cannot emphasize that if you have a party if you have a date if you have a girls lunch and you don't have the money to go get your nails done listen i know nails can be super super expensive and i cannot tell you guys how much money i've saved in a year by not going to a nail salon now i do go and get like pedicures and stuff like that because i'm just too lazy to do a pedicure okay but when it comes to nails, I love this shape. And in my area, I have not found anyone that does nails the way I like them. And this is exactly how I would want my nails done. So again, I'm just repeating the process and just applying the nails. That's all you have to do. Unfortunately, I don't know if they have nails so you can do them like acrylics. I just like to do press-ons. It's easy for me. And if you guys are wondering how long these last, I would say that if you take care of them, they will last you for a good week and a half, almost two weeks. And by taking care of them, I mean when I do dishes or laundry or anything that involves hot water, 
I do try to wear gloves again to just extend the wear of my nails I just like to have nails on at all times and if I can avoid them falling off then obviously I will do whatever it takes so I do try to take care of them as much as I can I do have some that will just randomly pop off and all I do is just both my nail and I just glue it back on and I really go on about my business like to me that's not annoying but it might be to you so just keep that in mind now when it comes to my thumbnail for some reason these are always a little bit big on me and I have a pretty wide nail bed but even these the number one are a little too big so I do file them down from the sides so that's something that you might have to consider what I love about this brand is that they do have different shapes and a whole bunch of them I think it comes with 500 pieces for like eight bucks or something like that super affordable and again I feel like you can find your shape even if you have really thin nail beds or really wide nail beds and what I like again is that you can buff them and kind of like make them your own size so yeah just a little tip that I wanted to share with you guys Now, as you can see, all nails are on. These are pretty long, so if you wanna leave them long, go ahead and do that. I like to cut mine right below the number. There's a little number at the tip of the nail, which is the size of the nail. I like to cut them right below the number because I do like to have long, long nails, but I don't like them to be too long. So again, this is when this little nail cutter thing comes in hand you can find them on amazon you can find them at sally's you can find them at walmart i got this one at walmart i like it it does the job and as you can see now the nails are a little bit shorter but not too short now i'm going to go back and take my nail buffer or my nail file this is the one that i like to use from sally's because it is pretty coarse since they are acrylics you want to make sure that you're using something that's going to actually buff the nails um, the reason why I like to buff them because sometimes they can be a little bit sharp and if you're not careful you will definitely scratch yourself I have done it a million times so I've learned my lesson I do take my time and make sure that I file them and also this is a perfect time to, to make them a little bit more squared how I like them I like them to be squared then after that all you have to do is pop on the nail polish color of your choice I am going with the nude this time. If you guys watch my channel regularly, you guys know that I always have colorful nails. I wear neons, purples, pinks, blues, reds, oranges, greens, like every color of the rainbow, I wear them. I love, love, love just like colorful nails when it comes to the summertime. So I figured this time I would go with a pretty peach pink color and again this is by Sally Hansen I don't remember the name but I will have it listed down below and you also want to make sure that you paint the tip of the nail because sometimes you'll just see you know especially once you cut it you'll see that it has a white mark or a transparent mark so make sure that you do that because it just it looks so much better so after that, you want to apply your final coat of nail polish, and this is just a shiny coat. You can also do them matte if you wish. I personally like mine to be a little bit on the shiny side. Sometimes I'll do matte, it depends on the color, but with the nude, I just feel like glossy looks better. And that is it, you guys. This is how I do my fake nails at home, my pressed on nails. I absolutely love them. I always get so many compliments. You guys always compliment me. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to stay posted with all my videos. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.